Hi guys and welcome back to Homemade by Sibo. Um, I actually didn't record an intro to this video, I just realized, but it's a vlog, you guys. So it's going to be slightly different from normal vlogs because in between vlogs you talk, but in this particular vlog, I forgot my mic, you guys, and I had a lot of background noise, uh, background noise, and also, um, you know, with some background noise, you find that they are busy playing music or it's just too noisy. So I was like, um, I will just do a voiceover. So I am going to be doing a voiceover for this particular video and I do hope that you enjoy it. Please don't forget to smash the like button and also to share if you do like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy the video. guys and welcome back to homemade by Sibo. as i did mention i am going to be doing a voiceover for the most parts of this video so on this particular day it is a thursday and i had to go and fetch my husband at the airport and i also brought my daughter with one of the twins to go and see a doctor we had an appointment um at net care sunning hill with um a cardiologist uh, he was just uh, doing a follow-up on her previous appointments and so yeah and after we had we were done on this particular time or day we had to go back home to start packing for our trip you guys i hope you enjoy the rest of the video So if you're wondering why everyone is covered up in blankets, first of all, 
um, Free State is already quite cold in the mornings, guys. We already have frost um, at this time. And yeah, secondly, my husband puts on the aircon whenever we travel. It doesn't matter whether it's summer or it's winter. He just puts the aircon on. So yeah, it was quite cold in the car as well. So here you guys, I actually wish that I had switched off the music in the car, uh, but I realized late, I would have liked you guys to hear how excited my kids were. This was their first time um, on the uh, sea. And also we didn't tell them where they were going. We just tell, told them that they were going to visit Oma. And because they were sleeping um, most of the journey, so they didn't really see where we were. And the only thing that they noticed was that it was taking us to get to Oma's uh, quite a long or quite a bit of time because traveling with kids you have to make so many stops from the free state to KZN just us and a little one and then the twins between them and obviously us as adults once we get tired and all that and my husband with his back it took us almost 10 hours just for that uh, travel because he had to also like stretch his legs and his back and the kids constantly wanting either to uh, go to the bathroom or to um, stretch out or to eat it's it's just a lot you just have to be patient when traveling with kids so yeah here you can see them like enjoying the sea and playing around it was really 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 fun and but that was the first day and then on the second day the first thing we wanted to do was to go to Ushaga and give them the experience as well so uh, we did almost everything here you guys as well um, we had a lot um, to do so we really gave us the time to for them to experience and just be everywhere and um, in between obviously we had breaks of um, them like sitting down somewhere and us as well because we got eventually got tired so what would help us was like to go into um, low restaurants and just sit and relax a bit drink on something or eat on something and we left quite late I think we left when it was already closing time so that just goes to tell you how much time we, we really got to spend there we experience they got the experience like to experience almost everything and that was really um exciting for us and really fulfilling for us as parents
So for us, this was more of an um, impulse trip because we really planned on it like last minute, not like, you know, something that you get to plan ahead and budget and all that. So we just looked for um, this place. Actually, my husband has been on this place, but not on the apartment side where um, you get multiple bedrooms and all that for, especially if you have a bigger family. Um, he had actually been on the other side of it where you get like luxury apartments and all that. But because this was uh, apparently one of the places that um, the railway or something like that, they built for employees to enjoy with their families and stuff like that. Um, not that they don't accommodate um, the public, they do actually. Um, so they have these apartments where you get to book. Our apartment was a two-bedroom apartment. It had um, six beds. I would have liked, actually, apparently, though, they do have where you get um, uh, double beds or queen-size beds in the um, uh, one bedroom. And then the, um, the other bedroom gets to have the four beds. But anyways... Um, this was the kitchen. It comes fully functional with everything working. Um, with a bigger fridge, I did like that part that the fridge was actually quite big enough, like really family size uh, fridge. So we got to stock up and everything and it had all the utensils, pots, pans, everything that you may need as a family, especially if you're on a budget and decide um, that you want to be maybe save on some money instead of like um, going out and doing takeout and stuff like that whilst on vacation and you can just make your own meals and the bathroom had a bath and shower which was nice because if you have smaller kids you really want to give them a proper bath uh, when they come from the seaside then you know it's easy for everyone to get in the shower and just rinse so yeah I think um, I really liked the um, possibilities you know for budget budget wise when it comes to families because the whole reason why you go on holidays is just to make memories and all that and especially if you get a place where it's clean enough you know and sheets and beds are comfortable and linen is clean and all that so yeah if you want um, to be on a budget you know you get to do stuff like that and book cheaper um, accommodation and then the rest of your money obviously goes on the actual uh, vacation like you're not limited on the stuff that you want to do so that is exactly what we did hence the reason why we were able to uh, because we were not also um, based in Durban we were in Port Shepston so it was like an hour away so we were able to drive to Durban and explore other smaller places like Amazon Toti we went um yeah, so it was um, quite a thing for us because we, as much as I did mention that, we this was uh, something like on an impulse, but we we also wanted to save on the accommodation so that we are able to stretch our monies to accommodate um, the other things that we wanted to do. So, yeah, and the nice thing also is that the place comes in with two aircons, one in the one bedroom and in the lounge and then a fan on the one um one bedroom and then also has a uh, built-in braai so you don't get to be in a communal braai area so you get to obviously just be with your family and um, do your braaiing or whatever you want to do in the braai area even if it just means that you just want to start up a fire if it gets cold because it can get quite cold um, by the seaside at some especially when it's uh, been raining so yeah guys So now the other thing that um, I once experienced in my life, only once, was this type of machines, you guys. Like, 
yeah it was quite interesting to actually find one of these here but anyways we were able to do our laundry it was 20 rands per load uh, um, I only did two loads because we stayed for, I think it was four days or four, ni- uh, four nights, uh, something like that. So we had quite a bit of laundry to do. So, but the fact that I was able to do laundry and not take back laundry home, a lot of laundry for me to do when I was back home. Not that I can avoid that with our family, but yeah, that was quite interesting. And this is actually the rest of the place, you guys. You can actually also camp here. There are camping spots. You can either bring a caravan or uh, bring your tent or even hire a tent because they do um, hire out some tents. So, yeah. So one of the things we enjoyed being on the seaside was having access to a lot of seafood. On this day, though, we were just um, at a mall and um, decided to go into John Doris to have more seafood. So because also I wanted to be a uh, part of the experience of our kids experiencing the sea, I didn't record uh, some of the days we were there, um, but this was the last day of us staying. It was on a Monday, so I decided let me just do, um, you know, just a few shorts and still get to enjoy being around my kids whilst they are busy playing and all that. Um, so yeah, but they did really have um, lots and lots of fun. On Sunday, though, it was raining and it was very, very cold, you guys. I didn't know you can actually get, um, the, the seaside can actually get um, so cold, but it was really, really cold. Um, some parts of the day, throughout that day on Sunday, it would warm up really nicely though so but yeah my kids nevertheless i couldn't keep them away from being outside and being by the sea they still went and enjoyed themselves uh though i didn't record all that as i did mention but yeah guys this was it our kids had a blast by the sea and this time i actually can't even wait to plan properly plan a a nice getaway for uh, my kids and plan all the places that we would like to go to instead of like you know just a last minute thing so yeah
So now it is time for us to head back home. We were quite relaxed. Luckily, we didn't have a late night on the previous night, which was a Monday. We didn't have a late night. Uh, we didn't have an early night either, but we had quite a relaxed night. And the fact that, I mean, we were already going back home. We, there was no need for us to like wake up very, very early on this day. Um, but yeah, we left around um, 10 or half past nine, thereabouts, I think. And yeah, we... It was quite um, a, a relaxing night for us. So we had a good um, travel. Again, it was another 10 hours driving back. But luckily, you know, we were um, very much relaxed this time around. Even Daddy wasn't like sticking to the speed limit. Um, rather, he was driving um, at least 20 kilometers per hour less. So, yeah, but we were safe and very, very grateful um, again. guys um me again so i just want to close off this vlog um and i am sorry guys i really did want to take you guys in so many things but it was a uh, family time and i wanted to still enjoy you know with my family and just partake and be present uh, in the memories because it was our kids first time at the beach um the twins and uh, my eldest daughter has actually been to a beach and she even went on a um, a school thingy, uh, a sturgeon thing, uh, going to, I think it was St. Lucia, it was, she went to St. Lucia, so yeah, um, but another thing that I uh, bought uh, on my trip is I got another foreign fist. You, if you know me, you already know, I'm, I'm, I'm already obsessing over this brand, you guys. You saw my, if you saw my, um, uh, which one was it? I think it was a homeway haul. I will link it here on the cards, but I am already obsessing over this brand from Checkers. If you don't know uh, where you can find this, it's from Checkers. And this is how it looks like on the inside. Oh, I love it. But it's how it looks like. It's got this um, knife, this type of a knife. Jeez. Um, it's not too big, but it's obviously perfect for everyday use. And then the other one was quite different. Um, one of these, because it was one of those that you know you see on most uh, places where you see they doing, I think Chinese stuff. Um, I think it's the Chinese that use it the most, and obviously chefs. Here. But I'm also gonna be learning to use this. And then I've got a bread knife. Look how huge you guys this knife is. I think it's perfect if like say for instance I've baked maybe like a sourdough or like you know those nice homemade breads and then this I'm gonna be chopping my uh, herbs nicely now and be I told you guys <laughs> and just be um, all that but it's looking beautiful and I love it I got this for 700 or 699 uh, I, I think it was from $9.99 if I'm not mistaken to $7.99 so I snatched it and this is not obviously the last purchase from Checkers as you guys know I did mention that I'm making a collection out of this Foraging Fist uh, collection but anyways thank you so very much you guys for coming along with me on this um, long weekend first um, trip no first um, vacation beach vacation for my kiddos we really did enjoy it and thank you for watching once again and stopping by um and for supporting this channel thank you thank you thank you and please do not forget to smash the like button 
And if you haven't subscribed, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, Homemade by Sibyl. You'll be seeing DIYs, homemaking videos, um, gardening videos, and renovation videos. I have a, a whole series on each of those, so do check it out. And yeah, thank you once again. I will be seeing you on my next video. Bye, guys.